Everybody, welcome back. So, uh, this is the uh, normal warning for my trapping videos. Um, did pretty good today. So, at the beginning of it, um, we checked my Fisher set. Well, you guys don't see it, but I do a clip of that place. And then um, we come back to this pond and uh, had about almost 20 sets out. And we got we ended up with four rats. So, if you guys want to come along and check out these huts that I was by and uh, just uh, see the catches. So, if you guys want to watch, go ahead. There are dead animals, that's for sure. And, uh, yeah. So, if you guys want to enjoy it, please watch. And if you don't like trapping, that is alright. We're finally having snow so I can hot tent camp. But, uh, you'll be seeing this a couple of weeks after, um, after I film. So, muskrat season would have already been out by a while. So, alright. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, guys, so... I'm just on the line today, um, a little cold, but this is the uh, pond that you guys have been seeing in videos. This isn't the one that I just started trapping, this is the old one. I just checked the fisher trap, nothing, but uh, yeah, I had a couple of little sets put in here, and I just have the one fisher set now, so we're going to go check the pond. Uh, I'm pretty hopeful for there to at least get one, so we'll see how many we get. If you guys can tell, it's a little cold out today. I think there's about 18 traps in here. Uh, four of them, or no, five of them are hags brackets. So they would have only worked, because I have them set in where it freezes. Uh, they would have only worked before it froze, so we'll see if those have anything, but first one, nothing, second one, I see some fur sticking out of the water, so second trap, we already got our first catch, so I see that fur, now all we're going to do here, apologize if there's wind, um, it's a little windy, you just want to chunk, you want to go around the outside, because their fur does stick sometimes, and uh, if I believe so, that's actually a nicely sized muskrat. Oh wow, that is a really nice rat. Look at that. Still not the biggest. See there's some ice, I'm gonna leave that on there. But real nice rat, this is a newer 110 so he went out pretty quick. But uh, These newer 110s are a lot stronger than my older ones I use on a lot of sets so and it's hard setting them with these big mittens on I don't know what all you guys can see but I'm gonna just check here where this hole is again where's the hole Hole is straight down, so we're just gonna stick our stake through here. Like I said, I don't know what all you guys can see right now, so I apologize. All we gotta do is stick that right. Right there. So, I'm guessing, but guessing usually works for me, so there should be a hole right there. So, our first one here, we're just going to try to get, you know, what we can off of him. Take him over here, there's a little bit more. And just really roll him in the snow. I'm going to have to dry these guys off anyways, so you don't want your rats, uh, you don't want them wet whenever you dry them. So, throw him in there, that's a nice one. I'm not even gonna check, I know that's a male. So, we're gonna move on. I mean, our next ones are just up there, so. Wish me luck, guys. Okay, guys, so, third trap, second rat. That's real nice. So, I'm gonna set these gloves down. We've already got another rat, let's check that out. 
dark one too. Seems like I got him not long after I set a lot of sediment on him. So we're just gonna get that rat. Nice one. It is snowing too, by the way. It just starts snowing again. So get this guy out of our trap. I'll get all that off of him after we reset here. See these uh these one tens are a lot weaker, they're older, but they still do the job. A lot of the times it's really the drowning part that gets them. You know, that's usually what it is. So that's already reset. That's it. You guys can't see it that well, but there's a there's a run, so just like that. Three traps. I didn't have much hope for the first one, but I think we'll eventually get one there. But uh, here's another rat. So um, for these big rats that I'm getting, I'm looking for about five bucks a piece whenever I uh, take them in to uh, sell them. I don't know how many I'm up to now, but this place just come about last second because season ends in a, about five days here. Or no, four days. So I've got four more days to do my best for this guy to get these out of here. And so far we've got a nice basket of rats. So we're gonna keep moving on and I'll see if we get anything else. All right guys, so here's our fourth trap. Let's give it a quick check. See if there's anything in it. Not real sure on this one. Can't. Okay, that one's good. But right over here at our fifth trap, we have our third rat. I can see it clear as day. Right here in the water. So, nice rat down here. These are all uh, where they're coming up into the bank. So, we're allowed to set on these holes as long as it's underwater, so. Oh my gosh, another nice rat, guys. Another nice rat, look at that. Look at that rat. So, oh, this is another one of them stronger dukes that I have. They're a pain to set sometimes, especially with these big gloves. <laughs> but we're just gonna bring that around. Wow, I got some good hope today. I'm gonna be in the skin and shed for a while because we're on our pretty much a third or a fourth of our traps right now and we already have a bucket of rats. So, wow. So I'm gonna stick this back down in this run and uh, I'll see you guys at the next, next traps. Okay guys, so I'm walking up to these huts. Um, the problem with this place is there's really no runs. There's no runs, like coming from huts that I can see. And now with this ice, there's snow on the ice, so I can't see. But see, there's a hut here. I had a conibear. I just stuck it out there to see if uh, maybe I had a chance at catching one coming through because it looked like it was open there. So, whoa, there I go, I'm falling. Um, we're gonna give it a check. It was honestly just a shot in the dark for me. And the other one was too. But we'll see. It just looked open here where muskrats could have been running through. I'm just gonna give it a crack. And nothing. So. I'll leave this clip in. I kind of wanted to show you guys these huts. This is a muskrat hut right here. So, yeah, pretty nice. But um, these runs are just non-existent. So we got a couple of hags over there I'll check. They won't work tonight or the rest of the season. So if they don't have nothing now, those are out of the game. So, all right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna move on. Okay guys, so I couldn't really see um, oh my gosh, look at that rat. Check that rat out. There's a hut here, and uh, 
I don't have the hole set. The hole's over there. I could set it, but I don't want to. Um, there's a run that kind of goes around, and uh, these two hags did not work at all. I mean, they had about 10 hours to work, but I don't know. I kind of give up on hags. I don't like them. But here is another nice muskrat. You can't really see the run. It's just kind of where these cattails are just moved out of the way a little bit. So, but nice. I didn't, I didn't know on this one. I just, I kind of thought it looked like a run or where they would move. So, here's a little piece of ice this fur here. That'll pull his fur if I don't let that melt. So, let's get him out of the trap. Oh, the chain's stuck. There we go. Um, I'm going to try to reset this. It's just, literally, I just set it between this cattail and that cattail. So, see, it's a little bit of a pain to get in here, but we'll get it reset, I guess. I don't know why, but when I'm out in the cold, I talk like Minnesotan or something. I, I don't know what my deal is, but something weird with me, I guess. So, sorry for the wind. Uh, another big hut, but I'm just setting this what it looks like a run. So, see them hags are about six foot from, but yeah. All right, nice rat, guys. We're up to four rats. That's my best this year. So, yeah, biggest rat day was three, and I haven't had many traps out. So, this is a good pond. We got about ten more traps. I got two in a ditch, too. So, I froze my butt off yesterday setting these things. So, yeah. All right. So this here, honestly, I just stuck it right here. That's it. That's all I did. I just stuck it there. There's no run, but they're funneled. So you know, no rats are going in and out of this hut. So, all right, we're going to get him in the basket and uh, we'll see if we have anything else. This snow is so peaceful, guys. Check this snow out. It's kind of hard for you guys to see, but the wind kind of stopped, and it's just this snow. So I'm going to ask the uh, Amish guy, I know his name, but I just refer to Amish guy, so I don't say his name. Um, I'm going to ask if I can come out here and camp for uh, nature photography, because there's a lot of deer that go up through there. A lot of deer. This would be a really good spot for it. So, all right, nice. We got a basket full of rats here. And uh, I'm just kind of trucking along here. Pretty much from that hut, all the way over to this one I stopped setting because there's nowhere to set, so. If I get in here earlier next year, I'd have a lot easier time. But like I said, I've, I have the last week of the season, so. All right, we're gonna get moving. Okay guys, so here's here's another hut. It gets real deep here. Um, this is another one of them runs that can't really tell, you know, cannot tell at all. So you can see how much they take out around these huts. I know the camera angle's bad. Um, you can see how much of a perimeter around this that they just completely tear down. Um, and that's not bad. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's tons of cattails here. Just, uh, <laughs> muskrats are not wanted in this pond. I mean, they're destroying his bank over there. So, uh, we'll just get a, get a check in here. I doubt anything's in this, but figured we'll check in on camera because I want to show you guys that other hut. Ice is a little thick here. I'm just gonna... Got my little trap and shovel this is a real good club too I mean this this one taps muskrats so I just kind of keep it as a all right trap is still set so but this is a great you just hit them on the head with that and they're done um, but there's another hut guys a lot of big huts in here I'm just mainly excited for next year if I'm allowed next year I'll do a real good job for them but it's just so late in the season and it keeps warming and thawing and now it's frozen for good and there's no runs. So only good places I know they'll be at are those holes. So maybe for the last few days I'll just have the hole set. 
So we're gonna move on. I got uh, one, two, uh, I think like six sets left. So we're gonna go check them. It froze in that many bubbles. We're here overnight. So there is a bank den somewhere around here. I can't set it, this is too deep, which it's killing me. But what I will do is tomorrow, I'll bring a stake with a cotton bear with a carrot on it, and I'll just uh, simply break a hole in the ice and set it on top of the ice. So that is unreal. I mean, I know I'd have a rat. If I put two cotton bears on that trail, I'd have two rats. Easy. So I can't really set it, it's too dangerous for me to do that which sucks but it's all right there's enough there's enough rats here they'll be here next year so i'm not gonna rush things you know so i knew that ice is a little thin there but there's another waste of time right here um i mean i'll give them one more shot next season but as long as this season these aren't going to work anymore because the ice so um i have Two more sets left and they're down in the ditch don't know on these ones don't have a you know high hopes for them but that is a really nice bubble trail so we'll have fun in here next year i mean i'm happy with four rats that's not bad at all i'm still kind of a beginner with this so as far as skinning i've trapped for a long time but dad did a lot of the skinning um that'll take me a good hour and a half do them four rats totally because I, I go real slow I'm getting faster though but yep with my muskrat money this year I just want to buy a new pack basket one of the nice ones so hopefully I can even sell the things <laughs> but I have fun doing these sets so we'll check these last two hope there's a rat in them okay guys so this is the last spot um, even though this is loaded with rats and they're all stationed in here. They 100% travel these little streams. So if you have any little streams coming out of a pond, or say you're not allowed to trap someone's pond, right? But you can follow a stream on like Google Maps. And if you follow that stream and you get permission on that stream, you're more than likely gonna eventually get a rat or a mink using it. So. See, this is just a drainage that comes out, it's overflow. And uh, there's a coon trail that goes through, a deer trail down there. But uh, there's a pipe that comes through, a bunch of rocks. I stuck a conner bear, the water went down since yesterday, but they'll still slide through that. Um, conner bear on the trail. There's another water pipe. Another water pipe right there. And uh, if you look, this is just the field, right? You can see where the rats have a, uh, they have a toilet right here. So that's rat, that's rat droppings. And uh, they just kind of come down through. Here's their toilet, go to the bathroom. They might munch on stuff here. And uh, some of them may have moved out. So I see my other conner bear is still set but I can show you that one as well. These are good sets. You will catch something in these. It's just not as good as trapping the pond. So you just, uh, it don't look like much, but I mean, do you think a muskrat's gonna walk in the grass or are they gonna go down through the water here? So another set, but uh, I'll see you guys in the truck. That's probably it for today. Um, this is where all the Amish live, but some really nice snow out today. It's not too cold my feet are froze but it's not that bad so a four muskrat day is not bad in my books um after i'm done skinning these guys i'll do a clip more than likely but uh i have a heater down in the trapping shed so maybe it'll take the chill off a little bit so all right four rats not bad at all especially with a bad freeze up overnight hey guys so Here's today's catch. No fish are still, but that's fine. Um, four nice rats, really nice rats. I mean, these are the biggest, the big you can get. Here's a water bottle. Here's a water bottle, guys. I mean, 
They're huge. You guys that have a 110 Conner Bear, there's a 110 Conner Bear. I mean, they are some big muskrats. That's a real big one. That's a that's a 3x. Um, I believe these will all. Okay, so I think I think these three on this side are 3x. I think those are three. I think this is two right on line of three. So we'll have to see when I'm done with them, but I'll measure them. Um, I think, yeah, I think we'll, actually it's possible, we might have four three X's, actually, I think all of them are three X. So this is definitely the biggest by far. This will stretch the longest though. So, all right guys, real nice. Um, so you guys are the trapping shit. Okay guys, so. It's just getting dark out. You can kind of see the sun still. Um, I've been, I got down here an hour and a half ago. And then I had paint starting that, so there was that. And then what else? Um, did something else in here. And then I did the rats, and I had to let them dry a bit. So really, it took me about an hour and ten minutes, hour, so, to do four rats. I'm getting a little better uh, with doing stuff. But um, there's a pile of them there. Uh, but we're going to measure these. And uh, I only messed one up. I messed one. It was this one right here. See that eye's a little bit big. The fur can get tucked in there a little more. But that eye's a little bit big. And then there's a hole right there in between the teats. See that hole? So, and I know why it did that. It's not my mistake it was um well i mean it was in a sense but it's not like i can get any better at skinning it was the knife i've been used to using it real dull that one there and i changed out the blade there's the old blade and i put in one of them and i started skinning and i mean i barely poked that hole in i mean it just ripped it right open so but we're gonna measure these real quick and uh, i have a little thing over here, a little book that shows me sizes, so first one we're going to start here, uh, this one is 16 inches, so this rat is a 2x, so I predicted 1 2x and 3 3x, so we'll have to see, so that's a 2x. That one's 17. Actually, a tiny bit over 17. So that is kind of a, that's a 3x. It's on the line. Uh, that's a 2x. And that's a 3x. Okay, so two 2x, two 3x. So I've got the book right here. So I've got the book. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put these pelts in my closet. And then uh, that should be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, just another trapping video. So four rats today and four big rats. No small ones. So I'll see you guys in the next video.